HLA typing is one of the tests which is indicated very frequently when couples have experiencing a recurrent implantation failure or have multiple abortions, that is recurrent abortions. Now this HLA typing is not just used by reproductive immunologists, it is extensively used by doctors who are also called as transplant physicians. This is predominantly a part of the donor recipient program in the transplant department to make sure the more the matching in between the donor and the recipient, the lesser are the chances of graft rejection. And this is why you would have heard liver donated by mother to son, daughter to father, brother to brother, same thing happens with multiple other organs. Of course, transplant medicine is way more complex than what I have tried to simplifyingly put it and transplant physicians are way more better at interpreting the nuances of HLA typing report as compared to reproductive immunologists for sure. This video is going to show you a sample HLA typing report. This HLA typing report is done in order to identify the HLA matching or HLA similarity between the male partner and the female partner. This report is going to cost you around 25,000 rupees Indian equivalent. This report is going to take approximately 15 days of processing time and this report is simply done from peripheral blood. That means the husband and wife both are supposed to give blood and then the report is sent for testing. In the sample report, we are going to try and help you understand the basic interpretation, what you should be doing. Please understand, this report is best interpreted by a person who has knowledge in reproductive immunology. But this video will help every fertility physician and patient, if you are one, to identify browse through your report and come to certain basic conclusions which you need to know. So here what we are seeing is a sample HLA report in front of us. You must understand that when the embryo goes inside the uterus, the predominant presenting antigen is HLA-C and HLA-G and both of them go and interact with uterine natural killer cells. Standard. In this interaction, it is the combination which goes from the male partner and the female partner to form this embryo, which is important. For an embryo to implant successfully, all right, it is important that the male partner and female partner do not have similarities. Very important word. In transplant medicine, we said they should have similarities so that graft rejection does not occur. Here, it is the reverse they should be as distinct from each other as possible so that a good immune reaction can occur in the uterus allowing the pregnancy to grow. Understand this concept. In the same manner, you are going to be interpreting this report as I have shown you. Certain important things which we have to consider is HLA-A and HLA-B are mainly important as far as transplant medicine is concerned, but HLA-C is very, very important as far as reproductive immunology is concerned. Of course, you have DRB1, DQB1 and DPP1. They are very important, but this is a broad report. And if you see here, out of all the alleles which we have presented between the couple, so we have calculated a total of 12, number of matched alleles are 3 out of 12. All right. I'll just show you how you can easily calculate this. So, you know, there should be no confusion as far as calculation is concerned. It is very, very simple. Let us just try to study it as a very, very uh, small example. Okay, look at this. In HLA-B, can you see? 460102. It matches with 4060102 below. So, that is the first match which we have established as far as this couple is concerned. The second match... If you see, look at this, 15020101, again 15020101. So there is a match between the C1 which is present there. Simultaneously, if you study all the other alleles, like how we have studied, there is a good match in between DQ, B1 completely, all right, between these two, between the couple. So this is how predominantly you are going to be studying this, okay, broadly. All you need to remember is that I've just tried to mark out something very, very fast. 
likewise i will be marking out something which is completely different as well look at this look at this report down okay this is completely different than the report down this is basically the husband and this is the wife so you can see a huge difference in between them okay simultaneously look at this locus a husband completely different wife completely different right you can see that there is a difference in that look at this dpb1 completely different completely different so you have differences and similarities which are going to be matched and the percentage is going to be given to you basic understanding of interpretation all right if the paternal and maternal hlac type okay is going to be c2 c2 that is something high risk and as a result of which here we have a low risk report simultaneously look at this if there is more than 50 percent matching then it is considered to be a high risk for abortions in this case the matching is only 25 percent now does this report indicate that this is an absolutely foolproof report that means there is no problem as far as this report is concerned the answer to that question is a huge no got it big time no it does not mean anything like this okay this is one of the tests which you have to do when you are studying people who are having recurrent abortions or recurrent implantation failures this is important when you have a consanguineous marriage that is married within a family relation this is important as long as you have a euploid embryo which has been established and this is important if the genetic testing that means the karyotyping of the male and the female partner is completely normal only in that situation does this hold any form of value very important for you to understand this as i told is an expensive test every day we will have consultations regarding the hna typing report what do you do when the report is same like let's assume instead of 25 percent this was 50 percent then what would we have done guys remember these types of patients would require immunosuppression predominantly with tacrolimus okay take the decision of doing such suppression in consultation with your transplant physician or your nephrologist or your immunology department do not do it otherwise lot of times the couples in this type of situations may also be recommended to do donor gametes that is to switch the gametes and that may be a very important alternative if the HLA matching is very 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 severe in between the couples simultaneously along with tacrolimus there is an experimental role of ivig and thymosin in this situations but that i will discuss later this basic understanding of hla typing for a fertility physician or for a patient is going to help you understand what exactly you need to keep in mind as far as these patients and these reports are concerned.